We are the music makers, and we are the dreamers of dreams. Hey guys, welcome to the fourth Istanbul vlog. Today was my last full day in Istanbul. It was kind of a lazy-ish kind of feel. I had to get my watch fixed. So this watch was a present from a very dear friend of mine, but it broke, it like fell off my wrist and shattered, so I had to get it fixed. Let's go get my watch. In here. How are you? Thanks, thank you. Oh, thank you. Just you get that cat. So this is my beautiful Garmin running watch that I use every day. But when I'm not running, it will be nice to use a new, more fashionable watch. So there will be a new watch in three, two. Ah. So I spent most of the day walking around Taksim because. Apparently, I can't find anything else to do in Istanbul but walk around this one area. <laughs> there were cats, it was cool. Taksim had like a... This camera's falling. I don't know, Taksim had like a cool feel. Like I said earlier in the other videos, like Istanbul was just kind of a little chaotic and Taksim was just a nice little... It was a nice contrast. It had a cool feel. There were like little shops, areas you can walk around in. I believe the LA term would be a cute little area for shopping. Walk around this area is so nice. It's very, uh, very peaceful. There's lots of like homey stores. Like if you want to decorate your place, like this one. It's like a big art store. Little home store here. Like lamps and chairs and stuff. Taxim is so, so contrasting. I don't know. It's like old and new, and I don't know the history of it, but um, I'd be interested to see like how long this whole thing's been here for. It's the uh, the Greece embassy or consulate, but it looks. Uh, mm. And I met up with Engen. Engen was the hostel owner for my first video. I'll put the link right here in case you've forgotten. So during the uh, the hostel evacuation situation, uh, there was a there was a slipper that was left behind, and I got it for my mom for Christmas, and they're they're really comfy. So I had to like go back and waiting for Engen to get here. We're gonna have uh, a cup of tea, and he's gonna give me my slipper that uh, was left behind in the evacuation. What's up? Good, how are you? How's it going? Good, I'm good. Wait, where's the slipper? Slipper in yeah. the hostel. Okay, okay, oh, we have to go back. <laughs> awesome. So Engen and I, we had a couple, we just had a cup of coffee and chatted. I'm like super glad, super, super glad I met him. I knew from like the first night actually that I met him that he was just a good, guy like a good person which is why like when the whole hostel fiasco happened i just totally didn't really care because i knew it was, was already old water under the bridge he's actually in costa rica now which was super cool he like he moved and he's like trying a whole new thing there so maybe we'll have to go see him in costa rica Engen just clambered back in here through like the one in the back and then up and so now we're waiting for the slipper which i hope is inside Good news, guys. The slipper has been retrieved. Oh, man. Well, really. Take care. Thank you. Hope to see you somewhere close to the US. So I hung out with Engen, got some coffee, chatted for a little bit, got the slipper. And then I walked around a little bit more and I wound up running into these kitties and then I just played with them for a few minutes. Just as a warning, this is like three and a half minutes uncut of me just playing with this cat. Uh, if you don't like cats or you don't want to watch it for three and a half minutes, then just just like skip ahead, okay? <laughs> I think I have some new kitty companions. You guys coming? Come on. Yeah, let's go. Oh, let's go kitties. Where are we gonna go? Are we gonna go look for kitty food? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, let's go this way, come on. Oh, where are we going next? Get careful. Oh, the car.
Come down this way? Yeah. You guys wanna come this way? Come on. Oh, oh. You keep going? Sure. Yeah, okay. Alright. Oh, let's go. Honestly, I could do this for hours. Yeah, want to keep going? We got a few. We got a little more wall. We can go there. We go. Oh, oh Kitty loves the camera. Kitty, you're not shy at all. Oh, oh, come on. Yes. Kitty, there's part of your ear missing. How did that kitty happen? How did that double kitty happen? Does your kitty hurt? Oh. Wild kitty just needs love. Oh, kitty. Oh, you got some kitty tears. Let me help you. Let me help you with your kitty tears. Your kitty eye boogers. Did I get them? Okay, no more kitty eye boogers. That's good. Oh, there's a kitty, there's a piece of your fur missing. Oh, double kitty. Yes. Oh, it feels so good, doesn't it? Mmm. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, 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 oh. If I lived here, this might be a kitty that I would take. Is that a kitty purr? That's a kitty purr. If I lived here, this might be a cat that I would that I would take home. All right, kitty, I gotta go. Say bye bye. Bye, kitty. Bye, kitty. Bye, kitty. I love you. Oh, don't do it. Don't follow me. It's dangerous down here. All right, you get back there. All right, you get back there. Okay. <sighs> After the kitty and I had our moment together, uh, I just kind of, I kind of tooled around. I walked around for a few more miles. I saw like this beautiful sunset on the harbor. And yeah, pretty lazy, pretty chill day. You know, I don't... <sighs> You know, when I travel, when I travel, I try not to make too many plans and stuff. Cause so when I'm at home during like a normal work week, it's always go, go, go. And I'm always on a very tight schedule and I'm like, I have appointments and times and people and all that good stuff. And so when I'm on vacation, I don't like to have anything kind of planned because then I get stressed about making the appointment or being at the meeting on time or whatever it might be. And it's good and bad because I know I noticed with me, like whenever I meet somebody that's really cool or I make a friend that's very unique or I'm in a very special situation, like Ingen, I met him the first night I was there because I didn't have any plans that night and I just went and I went to the hostel and then I just started talking to him. You know, I didn't have anywhere I had to be. So I made that connection that way, just by having an open schedule and by not having anything really holding me accountable. But it can be bad because, you know, when you don't have like a schedule or things you want to, specific things you want to go see or like a timetable to hold you accountable, you can miss things. Like I didn't go to too many famous monument places in Istanbul just because I didn't really research where to go. And to be honest, it wasn't. So you miss some things, like, you know, the things that you might see on a list, like on paper that people would say you should go see if you go to a place but I think you'll also find things that are kind of unwritten you know so like you might make a genuine human connection versus seeing 
this historical artifact that's been there for 2,000 years. So yeah, pros and cons. Sometimes it's nice to do both, and I probably should do both. So that was my day. I just sold around Taxim and saw some people, and yeah, then I walked home, and that was it. It was pretty chill. Hope you guys enjoyed this lazy Istanbul vlog. Uh, if you like it, please share. I love your comments, by the way, so please keep commenting. I'm so glad the people who comment, I'm so glad you guys like it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And again, if you like it, please share. It's my goal to share these fun little journeys with as many people as possible. Thank you guys for helping. See you.